Welcome to day four of the Bridgestone World Solar Challenge. This is Solar Team 20. Uh, it's tight. I think there's eight minutes between the first and last teams. We're right in the middle. It's cold. It got down to, I think, four degrees last night and uh, we were ready for it. But when you open that sleeping bag and you sort of come out, it's just like, whoa, it's cold. And you've got nowhere to shelter from because in Cooper PD, it does not support life. There's no water. There's hardly any trees. It's tough. So cars yesterday was pretty close all day. We were uh, about 10 minutes ahead of the pack, which means we were ahead of all the solar cars and we're just watching them. There's a little bit of toing and froing. I think the Delft team, the Brunel team stopped to like look at their car for a couple minutes and then get back in and keep driving. So we didn't really know what was going on there. And then Inoptus had a blown tire, which apparently you could smell down the highway. So, you know, kudos to whoever made that rubber because that's some stinky rubber. As for us this morning, the biggest news that we had is right behind me here, we got one of our one of our convoy cars bogged about 10 minutes ago. And it was a bit stressful because getting a car out of a bog with not the right gear is a bit challenging in Australian conditions. But we got it out with a few people pushing, so that was fun. Significantly more cloud yesterday than what there will be today. So today's pretty sunny from what I can tell. And in fact, there is not a cloud in the sky at the moment. Uh, so good day for fast racing. Although the speed limit might come into effect, you know, South Australia, lower speed limits in the Northern Territory, so we can't go faster than 110. And it actually makes it more challenging for the entire convoy, because if your solar cars are doing 95, 100, 105, it's very difficult for you to adjust your position without breaking the speed limit yourself. So it becomes challenging for every other car in the convoy. Um, and again, even more interesting, if we come past a, uh, come behind a caravan, caravan are doing 90, 95, 100, takes a lot of energy to overtake. So there'll be strategy teams working on that in our team for sure, and I'm sure in the other teams as well. 